what's up guys and today Hankins FC here Aiden if you want and today doing something new I'm going to be predicting the 2017-2018 Premier League season <laughs> Premier League season so basically I've written down what I think is going to happen and I top three was very hard for me to choose and I am Manchester United fan so for me to say, I, I, I'm not going to give anything away, but for me to say some of these is very hard. So let's go all the way down. So you know, like, great job to Huddersfield, Hove Albion and Newcastle for making it up. Let's give them a clap. Well done. But, yes, I do think some of them will be going down. So in 20th place, there is Hudders, Hudders, Hudders Field. If there's any Hudders Field fans out there, this is what I think. Prove me wrong, like actually prove me wrong. Prove me that you deserve that, like Leicester did about two years ago. In 19th place, I have Hove Albion. I think they're going to be flying back down as well, sadly. And th it's not Newcastle. I think Newcastle can be doing well here. But, you know, there's been some teams last year that have been struggling, but like, struggling a lot. So, one of those teams is. I'm sorry to say, but I think they're going to go down. I really do think. In 17th place, so just making it, I think, is West. Is it together? Brom. Which? That. I'm sorry. I put you in 17th, so you're not going down. In 16th. Okay, I'll do 15 and then I'll explain why I put them there in 15. Okay, sorry. So, um, why? I think Huddersfield and Hove Albion, I already explained, as well as Swansea. West Bromwich, they haven't, like, these last few seasons, they haven't been doing that well. So, they really have to prove back up, so... They haven't been doing that many transfers. None have Watford or Burnley. They haven't been doing that many transfers like Manchester United and the rest have. So that's why I put them there. Now, in 14th place, I talked about this team before. New, sorry, New, Newcastle. Come on, that's good. They, they've just made it back down from the second league sorry, second league, and they're now into first league. Well, oh, this is annoying the camera. So, in 13th place, can you see what I'm going to? I'm sorry, but they didn't do that well last year. They were, they were like 16th, 17th, and 12th. I'd be surprised if they win the league, <laughs> but they are a good team, even though they don't have that many good players. I put them 12th. In 11th place, I have Stoke City. Stoke City. They haven't been doing that many transfers. None of these teams yet have been doing that many ta transfers. So, next. You're probably thinking, where? why is this team not there yet? They're here now. Crew, whoops. Crystal Palace. They've got some good new transfers, but they're not that good of a team. Like... Facing Man City, Man United, Chelsea and Liverpool and Arsenal. No. 
Okay, now in ninth place I have South Hampton. Southampton. Yeah, Southampton. Then here, getting up to the good ones, I have There you go. They have been doing some very good transfers, but facing Chelsea, as I said before, they're not going to be doing that well. Now, I'm going to change it last minute, but Stoke City and Everton. I'm not sure Everton is actually going to be six because they've lost Lukaku, which I am like, yes! He joined Man United. He's been playing amazing. I'm going to talk about that a bit later. After Everton, I have Arsenal. Oh. Wow, I can't even spell teams. Okay. In fourth, not, yep, Liverpool. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about this team. I don't like them. Sorry, Liverpool fans out there. I'm Manchester United. Still subscribe, because that's like, you have to press it. Literally, it's the rules. And here I have... Chelsea have been doing some good transfers, but they've lost some good players. So, boom. Okay, now, it's very hard for me to say this, but making it in second place is Man. They've been doing great transfers, Lukaku. One thing to say about Lukaku, he's been doing amazing, yes, but interesting fact, Messi out of 10 goals scores average 3, Lukaku scores an average of 4, and Ronaldo scores an average of 3, so or he's the best finish rate in the whole of football, so that's why I think they're second. And now the next team, I am not talking about it. I'm just going to write it. I do not want to talk about it. No. I can't even write it. Yeah, I hate writing this. I don't like writing this. Okay. I think Man City are going to be first. They've had a good season last year. But, yeah. So, that's what I think it's going to be. In the comments, tell me what you think it's going to be. Now, because I have some time left, I'm going to explain you the rules. So, let's say I got Leicester City right. That would mean I would get... Hmm. Plus, where's the plus? Plus five. But, if 13th, they were 10th, that would be a minus... Two points. Uh, sorry, no, no, no. Minus three points. So, um, but this is the catch. If I get any of these three right, it's a plus ten. But if I get them wrong, depends by how much. The maximum I can lose is five. So, if Man City never going to happen, come down there, I would not say 5, but I'd say minus 10, because I'm not going to lose that many points, so, at the end of the season, I may talk, I may do an IMO, I think it's what it's called, I'm not sure, I may do one in, like, every third month, and talk how I would think it's changing, I can't change this, so I'll do a reaction at the end of the season. And that's all I can say for now.